you just got a new gimbal, you want to know how to balance it. My name is Tom from Everything But The Camera. I'm here today to show you how to balance your new gimbal. Most gimbals nowadays are all three axis gimbals, so you get a motor on either side, just depends on what gimbal you have. Today I'm using the Moza Air Cross, and this one has a gimbal motor on the right side, the back, and the bottom. If you're not familiar with what they're called, it is the roll, the pitch, and the yaw. Now those three things are what you're gonna have to balance, as well as a little bit of the front and back. So I'll, make, I'll break it down really, really easy for you guys. With a little bit of a twist that you might not have seen before, that I learned from my buddy Alex Timelapse. He showed me this at a trade show and it kind of blew my mind. It makes it a lot faster, especially if you don't have an even space or an even level to kind of balance your gimbal. So this is good for on the go. It's good for run and gun. It's good for just about everything. And if you have a balanced surface, it's even better. So I'm gonna show you right now. First things first, this gimbal is balanced already. So you wanna make sure that you can leave it like that. You can leave it like that, you can go like that, and so on. You'll know that it's balanced whenever you're able to move your camera sideways and so on, and it sticks in that position. That's whenever you've achieved the best possible balance, okay? And the number one thing with gimbals is balance because you don't wanna overwork your motors, you don't wanna kill your batteries faster, and so on. So, the way I start, let me screw this one up. Okay, so most of you are gonna get your camera on there and it's gonna look like this, that's okay, trust me. So what you're going to do is you're going to place your camera into the bracket or the sliding plate or the quick release, whatever you wanna call it. And this is the way I start. I put the camera facing down and you check to see for any imbalances. For this purpose, I'm gonna have it go down so it's gonna be bottom heavy. If it's going like that, that's bottom heavy. If it's going this way, it's top heavy really easy so slide it and hold the horizontal with your own hands slide it until it stays level so almost there just scoot just a little bit and it's little micro movements that really set it so right there I'm good okay so I'm gonna lock that down next I'm going to do this direction which obviously is going to be forward heavy so the lens is going to fall forward so that's whenever you adjust the back and front of it. So I'm gonna adjust just a little bit, slowly. Sometimes it takes a little bit of patience, but once you do this a lot, you get used to it really fast. And depending on what camera setup you're using, it also varies. So be sure anytime you change lenses or anything like that, you rebalance the gimbal. So almost there. Okay, then you lock it in once you get that thing steady. So I'm holding it horizontally. As you can see, it's standing still, not moving. So now I'm going to be doing this side. So it's obviously too heavy on the right side or left side, depending on which way you're looking at it. And I'm going to scoot it in a bit. It's getting there. Scoot it a little bit more. Getting there. Just a tiny bit more. There we go. So we have these three ready to go. So once again, I'm gonna chest like that, like that, and like that, and we're good, so that's good. Now, the most important that people forget all the time is the yaw. So this right here, I just had to unadjust it. Okay, so what I'm doing right here, as you can see, is the motor fell forward. So that obviously is not balanced. So you're gonna strain your motors, you're gonna use your battery up really fast. You don't want that. You want to make sure that you get this proper. So to do so, I'm holding it sideways right now. And so I'm gonna keep messing with it. I'm gonna keep adjusting until I get it to balance like that. So this is a little bit difficult your first time, but trust me, once you get used to it, this is gonna change the way you balance your gimbal, especially on the go. So right now I'm adjusting back and forth and I just about got it. Almost there. There we go. So see, as you can see, the gimbal is staying still. That's where I want it. I'm gonna lock it in. Now that you got your gimbal balanced, you're ready to shoot. Make sure to take off your lens cap, check your settings, and check with everyone around you to make sure that they're ready to shoot. And if you have any questions, be sure to drop them down in the comments below. And until next time, once again, keep on shooting.